Okay. Hello, hello. Okay, wait to see who we have. Let me take off my AirPods because it doesn't quite work. Okay, let's see if I'm on YouTube so I can see that. Okay, I don't know why it's having me be um, long ways today. It just doesn't make sense, but hello okay long ways today okay so here we are i've got the chat on so i can see if anybody has any questions or anything so we are making a bookmark today and um i'm actually going to show you how i put it together like and then i'll show you how i make it with scrap pieces as well um, so you're going to need your self-healing mat, you're going to need a ruler, a rotary mat. Okay, so I've got my ruler, I've got my rotary mat, I've got everything. That looks very foggy for some reason. don't know why. I'm trying to see if I can get like a piece of tissue or something. Hello, hello. All right, let me see if I can find something to put the screen. I know this may sound absolutely crazy, but I usually don't have something on hand. Oh, no. Is that better? I think so. Okay. Hello. Okay. So we're making a bookmark today. Um, and I thought about this because personally, my son has a hard time reading um, when it comes to like following the line along things. So I was like, okay, why can you make a bookmark that acts like a twofer, like a bookmark and then it also helps him read along with the lines. And so that's what my mind thought of. So um, you're gonna need some fabric tack glue if you don't have double-sided tape. I'm gonna be using my double-sided tape today. So, um, but if you don't have double-sided tape, you can use the fabric tack glue as well, okay? All right, so this is self-drafted. Let me get my book that I actually was doing this with. This is the Cupcake Diaries. The Cupcake Diaries book. And this is kind of like what I made it for. Pretty much the sizing. So for me, this particular size, I think this is pretty universal, but um, let me see, I've cut two pieces of cork at seven inches by two and an eighth or two and a quarter. Uh, and that's what I did. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna stack my pieces together. Um, and then I'm just going to clip them so that I can do my little window. So I'm gonna stack them so I can make my window. So for the window, I want it to just be about an inch in, in from each end, so it's not too far out. Um, and then at least an inch or three quarters of an inch in from each side. So I'm just gonna make those marks. I'm actually gonna do it on the other side so you guys can see. Um, I'm gonna put you back down this way so that you can see what I'm working with. Oh, can you can actually see me just fine right there, can you? Can you guys see me okay? Can you see what I'm doing down here okay? Yeah? Okay. I'm gonna make a mark before I cut just so that I can make sure that it's what I like auditioning it wise. 
okay. I don't think I'm gonna go a half inch on each side. Okay. I'm just doing it this way just so I can be symmetrical. Three quarters of an inch this way. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. There you go. So what I did is this is a piece of cork that is two inches by seven inches. And then I came in three quarters of an inch from each long edge and half an inch from each end. And it's gonna look very familiar to anybody who does bag making. This is gonna look almost like a zipper overlay. Um, so just so you know. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut out my little box. So when I do this, I just wanna make sure I go close to the end but not through the other end because I don't wanna over cut so I stop um, about a quarter of an inch before it ends on both sides. Like start it and then stop it. Just because sometimes a rotary cutter can just kind of keep going and slip a little far. Good morning. We're making a bookmark. I know it doesn't seem glamorous, but um, it's very functional, back to school type of thing. And you use a scrap buster. Scrap Buster, as well as a functional thing. So it's gonna look a lot like a zipper overlay, okay? fan on because I'm getting hot. Did you just watch it? Was it funny? <laughs> we were having a blast. All right. We had fun this morning for sure. Actually talking about that, I don't know if Shinova's on right now. Let me text her. I did I'm at the curly hair part. Curly hair part. I wish she snips her hair. Curl, like yeah, I was having a hard time finding someone who can cut curly hair right. Yeah, it's real. All right, so there we go. So now I've cut it. So this is two inches by seven inches. And then I came in three quarters of an inch on each side and a half inch on this side and it's double sided. I haven't done anything to it yet. So you're going to need a, two scraps of either cork or vinyl, something that's self-healing that you don't have to worry about the raw edge, and then a piece of clear vinyl. And so I just wanted my vinyl to be um, long enough to go inside the window um, so it could fit inside the window. So what I'm doing, it looks like a zipper overlay, but I, what I'm doing is making it so that the, the, my son has a hard time like following along the line. So just to kind of go through and also act like a reading marker as well as a bookmark. So it's dual purpose. Don't throw these away because we're gonna use these for something else here in just a second. So I'm gonna use my double-sided tape. Um, I'm gonna use the quarter inch first. No, actually I could just use the half inch on both sides. Let me see. I'm gonna be There we go. Half inch on both sides. Okay. 
just like that. Okay, so just like that, two strips of double-sided tape. I'm gonna pull my backing off. Just like that. It sounds so quiet when the kids are actually quiet in the other room. It's like, are they okay? Um, and then you're just gonna put the plastic overlay just literally right over it and just put it down. So now you got a clear piece. And we got a little curlies in there. All right, and then you're gonna take your other piece, line it up, put it right on top. Just like so. Okay. So just like that. Hello, Chanobos. Okay, I'm gonna burn my edges. I'm gonna clean these up anyway, but just in case. All right, so I did that. So before I go too far, I'm gonna use one of these two as like a little extender from the top. You know, bookmarks have that little thing that flaps out. Yeah, I think a piece of ribbon would probably be better, but I don't know if I should loop it and make it so that it could also like get caught on like a keychain thing or something. She was almost like a tassel. Leslie, where's your tassel thing? <laughs> I need Leslie's tassel maker. A tassel would be awesome. I'm gonna try to make my own little tassel. All It may not work, but hey. There we go. Looks like a little tassel, kind of. All right, and we'll just put that in on one end. Just like that. And clip it. So this is a great scrap buster for any cork or vinyl, any self-healing thing that you have. All right, so let's just sew it up. Let me get my key out the way. So I did it for this book, and I'll show you if you have a larger book how you're gonna make this a little bit bigger. Stay right there, book. Okay. Can you guys see? Yeah, you guys can see what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go around the clear vinyl first. And then we can go on the outside. I was watching um, Kasaya's Live with Susan just a few minutes ago. It was funny. I love the box. Obviously, Shinova did hers last night. And I was like, yeah. Crowns. burn your ends because it's, you can't really pull them through to one side because it's double sided. Yeah, that's cute. Now I'm going to go around the outside. Susan is funny. I love Susan. Susan is amazing. I love Susan's authenticity. She just seems so genuine to me. And so does Kasaya. But in like the aspect of like bag making, like I've, you know, I was there. You know, I did quilting and garment making way before I started making bags. So I get it because it's like, oh yeah, I remember that day when I was like, what is this?
I went to lunch and got cookout today. <laughs> the kids are not in town. They're with their daddy. So did they do homeschooling on the road today? Since I had several appointments today. That's it. That's a bookmark. Yeah, right? May and my sister are kind of like that. Um, where my sister and I, or me and my sister, my sister and I are like that too. We, uh, we crack each other up. Like we used to do like just FaceTimes between, um, I know that was quick, right? I'm gonna make another one just so you guys can see what my method of madness was to, I'm gonna clean this one up um, on how to make it in case you have a bigger book. Trim the edges, make it look nice. You can edge paint too. I would totally edge paint if I can get my thing open. Because I can't ever get that thing open. It's like it seals, like air seals. I was telling Kasai about that this morning because it reminded me that I needed to do my edge paint and I was like, but I can't. Oh yeah, Marquis is there. Hold on, maybe she can help me. Kaziah, open this for me. Marquia, when you get a chance, can you help me open this? Yeah, I need you to open that thing again for me. Yeah, I would love to, but I can't get it open. I got my scalpel, maybe that'll help. Strength. Hulk strength. Okay. Oh, see, you did it. Thank you. you. Loosened it up. Thank you. <laughs> she said I loosened it. Okay. Edge paint tool. All right. I'm gonna go get some Vaseline. Take. Um... <laughs> she knows. Advice and put some Vaseline on it. There we go. Now we're gonna edge paint. Nice and relaxing. Put some good music on. I'm gonna be like Chanel and say, Alexa, put on Kenny G. a joke. I don't have Alexa. I will probably never have Alexa. <laughs> it's bad enough Surrey freaks me out. <laughs> yes, Kenny G. I mean, you could do Kenny G or whatever. I don't, I don't know. I want to go, um, I can't pick a color for Mojo Sews. I love all their colors. I'm like, I just don't know which color I want. I wish they would give me a sample pack. Like of all different colors. Like just give me a rainbow. A rainbow of sparkly colors. I don't care what it is as long as it's sparkly.
80s rock. Oh, yeah. I love me some Tom Petty. I'm sorry. Tom Petty. I went to see him in concert in Las Vegas at the Hard Rock. It was amazing. All right, so we're going to let that set and dry. Okay, we're going to take this and set it aside to let it dry. Okay, I'm not closing this all the way. I'm just saying, I'm just going to just... Just a couple of turns so it doesn't turn over on me. Okay, so if you have a larger book than this one, this is a pretty standard size book, but if you have a, like a longer book, like a novel or something like that, and you're wanting it, when can we get in? Are you in the George Michael. <laughs> I need to do that. I need to do that when my husband and I get in We don't get in an argument very often, but when we do, that would be funny. Just put something on the just annoys him. Um, that's when Surrey would really come in handy. All right, so if you have a larger book than this, <laughs> oh, no, the torture. If it's like longer, let's say it's like one of those, like, I don't know, bigger books, then you would just take the, the measurement of the book. Um, and then I would say make it at least two inches shorter, but the biggest thing is when it's, when it's being open like this, so that the window can kind of go through and they can see the, the thing. So I don't know, maybe that window's a little too big. I'm, I'm going to make another one and make it with a smaller window. <laughs> She'd run away. All right, so you know, yesterday I had this left over from the binder one where I had that left over from it. So I'm going to use this one as my scrap and just use double sided, same thing. I'm um, just going to use the length of it. So why not, right? Just like that and then I'm gonna cut one edge so that it's not so wide yeah you make it hard for a man <laughs> the poor man but that's funny that's not like just funny that's like funny haha -ha. it makes him laugh so hard yeah okay so just like that So this one ends up being two inches. Oh my God, I did that totally by accident, by eight and a half inches. And then, and then, I've got clear vinyl somewhere on here. Clear vinyl. And I need my clear vinyl to be longer. It's just almost as long as this, almost. Oh, there you go. You know what that reminds me of, Shinova? You know how, um, I'm not sure if you've ever seen, have you seen um, Gabriel Iglesias? Fluffy? Have you any seen any of his specials? Where he talks about the one where he was getting pulled over by the cop. Uh, I'm just trying to eyeball this because you can't see through clear vinyl to see like it actually is. <laughs> Um, that's what it reminds me of, like when the cop was walking away and giving the, the women to, there it is, it's completely crooked as anything, but, um, the cop was walking away and they, he puts on bad boys, bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do, what you gonna do when they come for you? Um, he said, I, it was the funniest thing he ever said. I, I laughed so hard. There we go. So now this one is 
one inch by eight by seven and a half so just an inch shorter see how quick this comes together all right so pen all right so again I'm gonna come in about about uh, well this one's actually like seven eighths of an inch of an inch on the other side. So I don't want it as wide because that first one was pretty wide opening for the letters. Oh yeah, that's gonna be so much better. Three quarters of an inch on both sides. I'm totally making this up as we go. It was an idea, a concept that I had. I was like, oh, that'd be awesome. Just because I know how much my son struggles with focusing on reading lines, like following a line along. He doesn't want to use his fingers because he's like, I'm a big boy. I don't want to use my fingers. He's been doing so well lately. I'm so proud of him. Okay. I stop right before I get to the intersection so I don't overcut. And then I finish snipping it. I'm gonna add the tassel thing to this one <laughs> if it was a piece of ribbon I could see that'd be better but I don't have any ribbon it's like I don't have ribbon well I do have ribbon but it's all thick ribbon I would need like one eighth or a quarter inch ribbon okay so before I do this one I'm actually gonna edge paint inside here before I put the uh, the clear because in that way, it looks a little bit more professional. Professional. All right. I can't wait to move my office, my, my studio space into the other office where my husband takes the rest of his stuff out across the way because in that way it's, it doesn't have a window so when people come in Miss Marquette can stay in this office and I'm not kicking her out um, and two because there's no window I don't see people walking in and out and Marquette can't scare the mess out of me she loves to scare me she does she loves to scare me Put that right there and I'll put it right over here where the fan is blowing. We gotta figure out what kind of technique we're gonna use for the edge painting. Like do we just want these tools for the people at the workshop? Shinova? We have those. I like these little rollers. I think they're pretty cute. Bye. 
Bye, Bianca. Bye. Okay. Smudge, 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 smudge. Just smudge it everywhere. Why not? Why not? Just smudge it everywhere. That one. You haven't heard about this roller one? So now that one's dry, and I'm gonna put a second coat because I'm not sure if you guys can see. You can kind of see the the crack between the two layers still. And I think the idea of edge coat is just kind of make it look like it's seamless and it's one piece. I could be wrong, but I think that's what edge coat's for. I loved Leslie's video that she did a couple of days ago where she had like the arm, the little extender arm thing, the edge coat helper that looked like the, um, the villain from one of the Spider-Man movies when he had all the arms. That's what it reminds me of. file that you're supposed to use your I don't know what that looks like is it just a metal tool like a metal pointy thing all right that's dry enough <laughs> for these Not all the way, Sandra. You put some cellophane or something on that. Stay. Okay. So now that I did that, now I'm going to do my window. Okay. And I think it's better if I do the quarter inch. And then another quarter inch. Do one side at a time. Okay. Yup. She says, yup. Press that down. Peel the other side and then press that one down. There we go. Like so. Feels like it's like wider in the middle than it's supposed to be. There we go. That looks better. Doesn't look like it's like popping in the middle. Okay. All right. So I did that. Now I'm going to take my pop inch. Do the same thing. Just like that. Peel it and stick it. If you don't have double sided tape, you can use the Beacon Fabric Tack Glue. It dries pretty quickly, but I like my double sided tape. It's tacky enough to like reposition if I need to, but not so like 
I mean, it keeps things down, but it's not so tacky that I have to like, peel the backing off of the, the vinyl if I make a mistake. Oh yeah, I like that one better. It's a little bit narrow of a window. Stick that down. If I had some ribbon, I would hang some ribbon from here, but maybe if I find something that I can make me hole punch and then tie it through, that would be better later. I mean, that's still pretty good because it sticks out of the book. here. It's just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing on the sewing machine. Okay. Let's see how this one turns out. I'm going to stitch all the way around and then I'll clean it up around the edges. It's not exactly the same, so that's totally okay. A mini backpack for my niece, for my niece, my goddaughter. Last time I saw her, she was sporting a Vera Bradley one. It was okay, but it was like a sling style, and she's like, mm, "It's okay for traveling, but I don't really care for it. I'd rather have a book bag, book bag." So I was like, "All right." I'm like the fairy godmother. I was like, your wish is my command. <laughs> I shall make you a mini book bag. So now I'm trying to see how I can make the the hybrid version that I made for my son and his book bag, make that a small like mini book bag. Cause I think that style is really cool. And it's not really utilized. I mean, people don't really see it that often. It's, Okay, so now I'm just going to clean up the edges and edge paint. simple design but has multiple uses practice on your edge coating right something that's not so like heart throbbing like oops I messed up kind of thing it's okay just keep going it's just a bookmark right I need to get my hooks up over there for my rulers I see this one I don't want to do anything in this this space because I'm gonna be moving to the other space all right, so now it looks like nice and cleaned up. Now I'm going to go, oh, durr, I forgot to stitch around the edge. That might help. when you're when you're doing things
That turned out pretty cool. All right, now to edge paint. I edge painted the, the center of it so you, can, you can't see the white mark as much as you can with this one, with the cork. But this one's cork, so you can't really see all that much. Anymore. But this one was white, so it was like it really stood out. And I just hold it like this and then just roll. Now I could say that the do, the reason I do like using the glue sometimes is it really seals these edges. So when you put the glue around the edge and you kind of like Push it together it kind of holds it together a little bit better than just stitching but the edge paint helps kind of relieve that practice edge coating and functional scrap buster and it's not necessary to do the edge painting The Belladonna. <laughs> the Gremlins got to it. <laughs> All right, so when you refer to Gremlins, are those small children, cats, dogs? Like, fill me in on what Gremlins means. <laughs> Because, you know, I think of gremlins and I think of little kids too, not just pets. Maybe because I don't have pets. Even though I am looking at different adoption sites for dogs at the moment. Because I do want a companion. Screw it on too hard. Okay. So we got two done in 45 minutes. This one is morning, Melissa. <laughs> so this one here is eight and a half inches. Yep. And this one's seven inches by two inches. This is still two inches, but the center window is only. A quarter of an inch versus this one's more like a half inch maybe yeah this one's more like a half inch so this is what we did today sewing sewing gremlins unless cats somehow get through a closed door sewing gremlins mm. that could be anything <laughs> so this one I did with the little tassel looking thing I'm not too crazy about that I mean I don't like that idea but I like this one here um, and maybe riveting a piece of ribbon or something when I find a good piece of ribbon that I like because I don't I don't like that but yeah I'm going to keep letting this one dry for a little longer um and then I'm gonna probably edge coat it a couple more times and then put the little glossy kind that I have for it. She gave me sandpaper, but I'm the type of person who just slept. Like the last two days wasn't really that complicated, really. But we did do these this morning with Shinova. Fine kids. So, if you read the comments on her um, captain's log today, you'll 
figure out how to get your name into one of these. They are cute, aren't they? I like it because it helps with um, kids who have trouble following the line when reading like chapter books. Like my son's just getting into chapter books. So if I was doing like this, you know, it's very easy to just go through and just go one line at a time. Or I like this one because this one really helps just one one at a time kind of thing. Versus this one would be more like two or three lines at a time. See? So this one would be great if it were um, more like picture books with the big words and stuff. Right? So this would be more of a sentence for those books. I don't have any of those books with me today. Um, but this one's great for like one liners so they can take it and they can read along. Yeah, you got to finish watching that log. It's a it's it's a long one, but it's fun. I think we had a lot of fun this morning with that one. Thank you. I just can't, I was like, that would be awesome because it's a dual purpose. It's a bookmark and a help a, a book reading like reading marker too to help with kids reading even some adults sometimes need help focusing i know i do because you know my dyslexia kicks in and i'm like what is that word like i know what it is but i don't know what it is um so yeah it's super, super easy and this piece of vinyl was the vinyl that i used for this centerpiece see that so no waste, no fuss, no muss. Look at that. Super, super easy. And it's the same vinyl. You can set, you can give it to them as a pair. Just slap this bad boy in there. Boom. Have that as a little set to give to someone. That would be so cute. I love it. I love it. I think that's pretty much it guys didn't have too long to go today but I got two for I got this one and I'm like mm, didn't quite like it that's why I made the second one and the second one turned out perfect in my opinion all right guys thank you so much for staying with me and staying tuned with me while I make these cute bookmark and reading markers um I'll put the dimensions and stuff like that in the description or maybe I'll make a quick little pattern for it and put as a freebie on my website so you guys can have that you're welcome anytime have fun um, catching up with captain's log and at the last five minutes I think is when I talk about doing something with those I don't like to say the the, the G A W yeah word because in you know trolls and computers and stuff like that start really going at things <laughs> all right guys thank you so much i really appreciate it um tomorrow is friday it's the last day um for our back to school free pattern sewing projects thing and um i think we're gonna make like just a simple little book tote just a simple cotton book tote um, and that way they can have that for the, when they're taking books out of the library, it folds up really nicely in their backpacks and then it pops open and they can take it with them. So thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 2 PM Eastern standard time or whatever time that is for you. <laughs> Bye Melissa. Have a great day. Bye.